Magandang araw po sa ating lahat. Welcome to SS041. This is the life and works of Dr. Rosely Sal. Magandang araw po sa ating lahat. Welcome to SS041. This is the life and works of Dr. Rosely Sal. Again, ako po si Sir E, your online class instructor. And today, our discussion will concentrate on El Filibusterismo, which is one of the two greatest novels there is of Dr. Jose Rizal. Now, we know that Rizal dedicated El Filibusterismo to the three martyred priests of the Cavite Utini. The execution of the three priests was significant to the title of the novel as well, El Filibusterismo. Now, we know of uh, the Baportabo as well also uh, as very much depictive of what was transpiring in El Filibusterismo. Now, as you can see on your screen right now, when we talk about the Baportabo or the Batea, there is a... Uh, distinction between the mayayaman and the mayahirap here. Okay, so he this is actually a depiction of what was transpiring at that time. And of course, we see also a lot of priests in El Filibusterismo, right? So we see here yung mga uh, pare na napakarami na nakalagay rito. Okay, na kasama nila uh, na sa nobela ni uh, Dr. Jose Rizal. Compared to Nolly, there were so many priests in El Filibusterismo. This shows that there were many kinds of priests in Rizal's times, and there were Spanish priests and Filipino priests, pro-Filipino and anti-Filipino Spanish priests, the corrupt priests, and the liberal-minded priests, just the same. Okay, so si Rizal, ang gusto niya pong sabihin is that hindi lahat ng mga um, pare or mga praile ng kanyang kapanhunan ay masasama. May mga mabubuti rin naman. There were some good and sympathetic with the Filipinos. Say, for example, the likes of Padre Florentino in the novel. He was patterned from the real life Father Leon Lopez na kamag-anak po ni Dr. Jose Rizal. Also, makikita natin dito that there were many scenes that showed the typical life of students in the Philippines, particularly sa University of Santo Tomas. They show the educational system in the Philippines and also the Filipino students' disgusts over the style of teaching at yung kanilang clamor para sa mga reforma. Also, we will see here that there were also already rumors of a revolution, although these... Um, novel was published even before the um, 1896 revolution. Now, this uh, actually mirrors the fact that there were discontented masses who were planning a revolution, and that was a common rumor during those days. Now, mind you that this time was before the birth of the KKK in 1892. It shows that even before the KKK, the masses were already thinking of a revolution. The time was ripe already for a revolution because of the abuses of the Spaniards. Now, we also see here the role of the Chinese people. In the novel, the Chinese businessmen helped the revolutionaries by smuggling arms. And also, we see here the role of the media. In the novel, Rizal created the character Ben Zaid to represent the media or the print media at least during his time. The newspapers here were blind to the truth and they see the abuses of the government and the church, but they don't write about them. And also we see here the frustrated love life of Dr. Jose Rizal. Rizal's frustrated love for Leonor Rivera surfaced again in this novel as shown in the wedding of Paulita with Juanito Pelaez. What was Rizal's view on the revolution as shown here in this novel? It showed that the failure of the assassination plot in Capitan Tiago's house. Here Rizal wanted to say that he doesn't believe that the revolution is the solution to society's problems. And there was a challenge to the youth of Dr. Jose Rizal, at least here. Padre Florentino challenged the youth when Simon was dying in his house and he said, Nasaan ang mga kabataan na handang mamatay para maghugas ng maraming kasalanan? Kihintayin namin kayo. And so here, it showed Rizal's hope 
on the youth. Now, here's the character of the um, novel El Filibusterismo, Simon Ibarra. Now, Crisostomo Ibarra was believed to be dead at the end of Noli Metangre, where he made his fortune abroad and returns to the Philippines as a wealthy jeweler. Now, he was named Simon, disguised with a beard and tinted glasses. His sufferings related in the first novel have motivated him to take Revenge. That's why he became a rebel, the, t the title filibustero or the filibuster. While he appears to side with the wealthy and influential in society, his motivation is actually to encourage them to abuse the masses who would then be driven to revolt against the increasing abuses. Whereas he once sought to reform and educate, he now resorts to subterfuge and violence. Now, we also have the character of Cabezang Tales. Now, Cabezang Tales aspired to start his own farm. He suffered great losses. However, first, his wife and eldest daughter died while clearing their land. Then most of his land was seized and was charged an exorbitant tax on, on the little left of him. Siya ay napaka-dependable and he was elected the cabeza or kapitan ng barangay which meant often having to appease the higher officials by shouldering the expenses of those who were unable to pay their taxes. His son was conspired by the civil guard and his daughter, si Juliana. Okay? Now we also have the character of Basilio, taking to heart the advice of the dying boatman Elias to study at the end of Noli Metangere, si Basilio po ay nagpunta ng Maynila upang ilibing ang kanyang nanay. There, he was taken by Capitan Chago and was able to go to San Juan de Letran. And when he had high grades, he was encouraged by Capitan Chago to move to Ateneo where the teachers were more enlightening and encouraging. And naman, tutingnan natin ang karakter ni Isagani. Isagani was the best friend of Basilio. He was a poor, poor law student and poet. And he has little fear of authority and speaks of openly of his patriotic ideals. Okay? Um, with his idealism, he clashed with the cynical Simon. Okay? And he's in love with the spoiled flirtatious Paulita Gomez against the advice of his uncle and guardian, Padre Florentino. And then you have Makaraig, who is the best friend of Basilio. Now, let's look at some of the notes on El Filibusterismo and some important facts here. The first one, Rizal started writing El Filibusterismo in Calamba during his first homecoming, which was in 1887. However, it was published in Ghent, Belgium, dahil ang cost ng printing po dito ay mas mababa kumpara sa may Brussels, sa may Belgium din naman. And Rizal, upon these jewels, isinanla niya po yung kanyang mga jewelry just to begin the printing of the novel. Now, si Valentin Ventura po ay nag-loan, ay pinahiram si Rizal ng cash para ho matapos niya ang printing ng El Filibusterismo. Now, the original manuscript was given to Valentin Ventura. It was later bought by the Philippine government from Mr. Ventura and it's now in the National Library. The original manuscript, if you will find out, actually has a lot of erasures. The foreword and the warning ay hindi included then sa final copy to save the printing cost. The original manuscript was given to Bintura. Okay, kanina po, nasabi na po natin yan. And also, uh, mapapansin po natin dito that the novel was dedicated to uh, doon po sa tatlong pare na uh, execute okay sa bagong bayan alam naman po natin na ang bagong bayan during their time was the place of execution okay ng mga lumalaban sa uh, sa imperyo ng Espanya when many copies were also confiscated in Hong Kong and many people praised the novel a spanish newspaper el nuevo Regimen even serialized El Filibusterismo. Now, in the 1960s, the original copy of No Limetangere and El Filibusterismo were actually stolen from the National Museum. Yung mga nagnakaw actually asked for ransom. 
million of pesos para sa ransom. And the government refused to pay the ransom money. The price was lowered in the next days. One day, it was just returned for nothing. No one was arrested and no suspect was identified. And that wraps up our simple discussion on Noli Metangere. Maraming salamat po sa pagsama sa atin sa ating lecture ngayon about Noli Metangere. Again, this is SS041, The Life and Works of Dr. Jose Rizal. I do hope that you were learning a lot from our lessons about his story, about his life, and how his works, his life, has dramatically paved the way for our uh, own ideals as a nation and as a people. Maraming salamat po. Again, this has been Sir E, your online class instructor. Maraming salamat po. Stay safe, stay sane, and stay strong. This again is Sir E now signing off.